All right, guys, this is Chad with 307 Project. We're finally getting around to a in-depth review on this Beretta right here. It's a M9A4. This is the newest model a pistol that Beretta has out on the market. And the reason we actually bought this pistol was to test it against the Glock 19X, which is what we believe to be the most versatile combat handgun on the market. But this is the pistol that Beretta created to uh, compete with the 19X, and uh, it's turned out to be a pretty awesome weapon system. Um, so we're going to talk through the pistol out here right now, uh, and then we are actually going to run it through some paces out here on the range. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about price on this weapon. Uh, this weapon is not cheap, but you'll see why as we go through the weapon. Uh, it starts out at about a thousand bucks right around there. So um, it's not a cheap weapon. But, uh, but it's made to last. You can tell a lot of attention to detail and good manufacturing went into this handgun. So uh, yeah, so let's dig into it. We'll start actually with the grip down here, which is one of the parts that kind of drew me to this weapon. I'm gonna send the slide forward and decock the weapon. One of the parts that kind of drew me to this uh, was the grip angle of this weapon. You got a nice straight grip angle back here in the back. Um, and you've got this nice dovetail right here, which uh, I like that. I like that dovetail. I like that straight grip angle. To me, it helps me get a solid grip on the weapon when I'm drawing it from the holster and also helps me manage the recoil. Uh, the texture of the grip on this weapon is, in my opinion, superior to other handguns, uh, including the Glock. Uh, the grip is very, very textured. Um, it's grippy, it's sticky. Uh, and this is straight from the factory. So no modifications have been done to this grip. And I think that it is a superior um, texture in terms of the grip here. Uh, magazine well, as you see down here, we have a lanyard uh, loop for a lanyard if you choose to use one. Uh, the mag well is pretty small. That's one thing you guys will see when we run this thing through the paces out here on the range if you don't index your mag well it's uh your magazine well it's pretty tough to get it in that in that hole right there so it's not really flared it's pretty small um, but it works it does it does the job maybe not the best job but it does the job moving on up the weapon uh we've got a nice big trigger guard so this is nice because if you're wearing gloves it's good to be able to get your finger in there with gloves on uh, with no obstruction, so we got plenty of room in there. Uh, nice, big piece of trigger to get your finger on. Uh, moving on up into the frame, we do have a rail to where we can mount lights and all that good stuff. Uh, the top of the slide here, we've got texture on the back and the front of the slide. I never work a gun off the front of the slide anyways. I'm always working off the back, but uh, we do have that in both places. This decock lever is probably the thing that I like the least about this weapon system. Um, for the SIG, the old SIG we used to use in the SEAL teams, the P226, uh, the decock was down here lower on the grip. Beretta has put their decock up here on the slide, which uh, in my opinion is a, is a pretty bad spot. Not only does it get in the way when I go to cycle the slide from the rear of the slide, but I've also noticed it, if I keep my thumbs nice and high on my grip, I've noticed that decock will hit my thumb sometimes when I'm firing the weapon. Uh, cool thing about this slide, it's uh, Beretta's design. It's open on the top. Now, this, this design is actually supposed to cut down on malfunctions, uh, stove pipes in particular, because when this weapon cycles, you have a lot of room for that round or that casing to eject. Um, I've also noticed, I don't know if this open slide has anything to do with it, but this weapon actually runs pretty clean. Uh, we have shot well over a thousand rounds out of this pistol right here. Chili ran it on the range for about four hours the other day, and I put quite a few rounds through it myself. It's only been cleaned one time, and we have actually shot uh, brass and steel casing ammo, steel cased ammo through this weapon. Uh, it functions with both and you guys if you don't know steel cased ammo is very very dirty and uh, you'll see when we disassemble this thing here in just a minute it actually has stayed pretty clean um, the reason we have waited this long to do this review and the reason we've shot that steel case ammo and the reason we haven't cleaned this weapon 
is because I need a weapon that's going to function under less than perfect conditions, all right? So we try to create that out here on the range. We try to give this, uh, all the weapon systems that we use, the opportunity to continue to function under less than perfect conditions, all right? And this one has held up. Um, the slide, we got op we're optics. They say optics ready. It uh, doesn't really matter to me. I don't run a red dot on my pistol, but you can mount a red dot to this uh, Beretta. The sights are really nice, really nice night sights coming on this Beretta out of the factory. Um, these things have got a lot of illumination and uh, it's pretty easy to, uh, to get them lined up and get on target. Uh, don't know yet if I like them as much as the standard Glock night sights, but uh, they definitely do the job. They're good quality, all metal construction, and uh, they've stayed in place. We'll move around to the other side of the weapon. Uh, we got the takedown lever, and we have the slide lock right here. Again, there's the decock. And then here, we have got the magazine release button. Uh, nice big magazine release button on this Beretta. I believe this is also another superior feature on this Beretta compared to the Glock is, um, is the magazine release button. Man, that thing, it's really easy to get on that and do your mag changes. Uh, barrel, as far as the barrel goes, it comes threaded from the factory, which is nice. We're gonna take this thing apart real quick and look at the inside of it. Again, this has got well over a thousand rounds. It has not been cleaned. I cleaned it when I first got the weapon. Um, and you'll be surprised to see how clean this gun has ran, even with the steel cased ammo. So um, I'll go ahead and lock the slide to the rear. And we will, you gotta push this button right here and unhinge the takedown lever, very similar to a SIG, and then just drop that slide and it comes right off. Uh, when you look at the inside of this weapon, it's really, it's a really clean design. I mean, I feel like there's just not a lot there. Uh, when you take this thing apart and you get ready to wipe it down and give it a good cleaning, uh, it's just very simple. Uh, there's, there's just, uh, there's not a lot of springs visible and, and crazy things. It's, uh, it's just a nice, smooth, clean design. Um, you'll also notice a lot of these places, the, when we talk about the quality of construction, a lot of the pins, you'll see all these pins are staked in. Uh, so we don't have to worry about these pins that are holding parts in the weapon. We don't have to worry about them walking out because they're staked in. And uh, that's something I always look for, especially in my M4s. Uh, I know one thing that Blake didn't like was this polymer or plastic guide rod. Um, I don't know if there's any problem with that. Uh, I guess it could potentially uh, break easier than a metal guide rod, obviously, but it seems to function great. Um, so yeah, this weapon is, is easy to disassemble and uh, runs clean, it's built clean, it's built with quality. To assemble it, you just slide the slide back on, flip the slide release lever, and you're back good to go. So, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. We're gonna get out here and run some drills with it and uh, let you guys see how it functions on the range. If you guys know the big difference between this and the Glock is the Glock is striker fired. This is a hammer fired pistol. So that first shot is a double action, long, long trigger pull. Uh, you, can get, you can get really proficient with that first shot if you practice a lot with this weapon. We'll talk about that more out here on the range in just a second. But while we're on the trigger, I do wanna mention, once you get that first shot off, another superior feature on this Beretta is the trigger in single action. Man, when you take the slack out of that trigger in single action, I mean, you are right there and it's just a hair trigger to send that next shot off. So it's nice and crisp back to the wall and it's just press, press and the shot's going. So a really, really good trigger in this weapon especially on single action. Let's get this thing out on the range and let you guys see it function. Uh, and, and by the way, we have had zero malfunctions with this weapon, zero. So we're gonna give you guys an opportunity now to uh, 
see this weapon function out here on the range. Uh, one thing we didn't talk about as we were talking about the pistol was the second most important part uh, of the weapon, which is the magazine. And um, the magazine has to work for the pistol to work. And these are good solid made magazines. Now, these are metal mags. They are not polymer mags like come in the Glock. What you will, uh, I think what you will like and what I like about these metal magazines is when you go to do a mag change, this mag slides out of the mag well nice and smooth. I mean, it just drops straight away. It's got a little more weight uh, than a Glock mag or a polymer mag, and it just slides in and out of that mag well very nicely. Uh, these are probably pretty hard to get. These magazines are made in Italy by uh, M-E-C-G-A-R design, so this is not an American-made piece, but the weapon is made in USA. The magazines are not. Uh, I don't like that uh, because it would probably be pretty hard to get your hands on extra mags. They've got a polymer base plate. It's just a good solid uh, magazine, 15 round mag capacity. And yeah, I see no issues with these things other than I don't know what replacements would cost and I don't know how hard it would be to get your hands on them. Now we're gonna run the weapon now through something called a now drill. All right, and this video is not uh, here to teach you how to shoot, so we're not going to talk through the mechanics of how we shoot this drill. Uh, we're just going to give you the opportunity to see the weapon, the Beretta M9A4 function. This is a pretty intense drill. What we're going to do, I'm going to load and make ready. I'm going to go 15 shots on the target and a reload one shot. All right, so this is fast and hard. Uh, we are shooting more steel case ammo, so if the weapon's going to malfunction, you'll probably get to see it happen here. Again, it hasn't happened yet, so I don't expect it to. But uh, let's go ahead and run through this so you guys can see the weapon function. So coming out of the holster, and I know some of you guys are going to ask, what holster am I using? It's a CNG holster. We'll do another review on the CNG holsters later on. I do like them but that's what we're using here out on the range today. So coming up in my workspace, I'm gonna go ahead and load this weapon, make it ready. Again, I don't like that decock lever being right there, but I can get over it. I'm gonna rack around in the chamber, do a little press check, decock. You guys saw that press check, that's another great thing about this Beretta. Man, when you rack the first round in, that press check it's really, really easy to see that round in there because you've got that open top on the slide. So let's run this weapon through the now drill real quick. You guys will get to see how this thing works. Let's hope it works good for the camera because it's worked pretty good up to this point. And decock. All right, guys, so flawless operation. Uh, definitely take some practice with the M9A4, getting used to that first trigger pull on double action when you come out of the holster. If you practice with this weapon platform enough, you should actually get to know that trigger pull enough that as you punch out, you're taking the slack out of that trigger so that when you get the full extension, that weapon should go off, all right? I'm not there yet because I mainly shoot the Glock. I haven't spent enough time on this weapon system. Um, but once you get through that first double action and you're on to those single action shots, you see how fast you can speed up because that trigger reset is so crisp on this Beretta M9A4. Also that mag release, I hope you guys could see how nice and smooth that mag change was. The mag just falls out. It's got enough weight to it. It's nice and smooth and um, yeah, you don't, every now and then with the polymer mags, they're so light and they're a little bit tacky, you kind of got to give the weapon a shake to get that mag out of there. Not so with the Beretta. So next drill we're going to run is uh, going to be called the bill drill. So <clears throat> I'm going to set my mag up for that. Let you guys see this weapon function a little more. So bill drill, I'm going to go from the holster, three shots, reload, three shots, all right? So I got my mag set up, one round in the chamber, two in my mag here. You guys will get to see that reload, that nice smooth magazine drop and uh, see this weapon function. So here we go with the bill drill.
and decock. You know, other than the fact that that decocker gets in the way when you go to rack the slide and also every now and then I'll feel it hit my thumb. I, as you guys see, I keep my thumbs really high on this slide. Every now and then I'll feel it hit this back thumb. Um, other than those two things, once you come back to the high ready and you're ready to decock the weapon and holster, it's in a pretty nice spot, right? It's in a pretty nice spot right there, easily accessible. So there are pluses and minuses to that decock lever being right there. Uh, so you get to see the weapon go through the paces. We're actually gonna move back to the 25 yard line now and do a 25 yard bullseye using these sights. So we're gonna test out the accuracy of this weapon and uh, see how it performs. Let's move on back. Okay, so you guys just saw the now drill and the bill drill. You got to see the weapon function. We put it through its paces. Now we're going to test this weapon system, the Beretta M9A4, for accuracy. We're back here at about the 25-yard line. Uh, we're going to be shooting some small steel popper targets. Uh, again, these are the sights, factory sights, came right off the market. They haven't been adjusted, uh, nothing crazy like that. So we're going to see how accurate this thing is from a distance and I think it's going to give us a different perspective on the gun. Alright guys, so we are going to do now the 25 meter shots, uh, 25 yard shots here. Uh, the first shot again with this Beretta is the double action. So coming out of the holster, I'm double action. Uh, this is a pretty substantial pistol shot right here. Uh, this is about as far as we practice with these weapons uh, out here on the range. So. Let's see how accurate the Beretta M9A4 is. Again, there's always human error involved, but I'm gonna to try to be as accurate with this weapon and give it the best and most honest test that I can. I'll take my time. Here we go. All right, so I think we probably had about three misses in there. Um, the weapon is definitely hitting point of aim, point of impact back here at 25 yards. Uh, those misses were likely due to my own trigger pull and not being uh, familiar enough with pressing this trigger in this weapon system and uh, just having a little pull or a little jerk uh, there at the very end. So very happy with the accuracy of this weapon especially on those small steel targets way back here at 25 yards. I'm very, very satisfied with that. Well, this turns out to be a pretty awesome weapons platform. If you guys are talking about a full frame, full size combat pistol, uh, the Beretta M9A4, I believe is truly in the running. Now, uh, a lot of it boils down to personal preference, but what we have found out about this weapon system through the last few months of testing it out here on the range is that it will function under less than perfect conditions, 100%. Uh, again, zero malfunctions, and uh, we've got good accuracy, we've got a good trigger, we've got a great grip, uh, and just a very, very quality, quality made weapon. Uh, you know, you get what you pay for and you are getting your values worth out of this weapon. Now, is it better than a Glock 19X? I don't know. We'll run a separate review on the Glock 19X uh, and we will continue to update you on this Beretta as we get multiple, multiple thousands of rounds through it. And uh, we'll see when it finally does start malfunctioning. But this is a good choice uh, if you are looking for a full frame combat handgun 
Um, I, I definitely think it's, it's up there in probably the top three or four on the market today. And uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Enough said.